Tales of the Forgotten, Luna, Part 9. Monsters exist in Awoken Legends, some of which originated during humanity's golden age. Elia explained to Glint as they strolled through the dusky gardens of the Dreaming City. It was a time when many attempted to subvert the laws of life and death, like Clovis Bray, as well as a faction of the Hive. Elia raised an eyebrow in Glint's direction. Bray used the tools of the Vex, while Hive blasphemers practiced the magical art of necromancy. Her tone darkened. Both succeeded, after a fashion. The early Hive experiments were done in secret, under the guidance of a powerful wizard, whose name we'll not mention here. Nocris, Glint offered. Yes, Elia grimaced. The unmentionable wizard created many abominations, using deceased and living subjects, including your unfortunate moon miners. She steepled her fingers. It's possible that access to these powerful pumpkins were a boon to his research. Her eerie gaze pierced Glint's mechanical eye. This may explain why the Headless Ones persist to this day, and why their flaming visages bear similarity to your Golden Age relics. Wow, that explains a lot, Glint marveled. But, he continued reluctantly, pumpkins aren't powerful relics, they're just fruit. They are indeed, Elia concluded dialy, the fruit of the damned. <laughs>